Bonjour Mehdi. La grande motte. La grande motte. This is the chilling moment, a French serial killer who had raped victims as young as 11 years old appeared on a national TV show, Everyone Wants to Take His Place, while being actively hunted by the police, who he had eluded successfully for the past 30 years. Varov is known to have raped at least three minors, and is believed to have committed 31 murders and rapes until the late 90s. His most notorious case of Cecile Block, 11 years old, who was raped before being slayed in the basement of her own apartment. However, more than two decades later, the retired police officer appeared comfortable as he chatted with popular French presenter Nagui Femme on national television. Footage shows the shameless butcher standing tall with no signs of apprehension as the presenter introduced him as, and I quote, Francois from La Grande Motte. Mind my pronunciation. During the show, Varov spoke about his life as a cop and explained how he was a constable before joining the mounted police force and then a motorcycle brigade in the 80s. At the time, he was briefly suspended over an incident that involved a prostitute, but was allowed to rejoin the force shortly after by senior officers. During the quiz round, Varov failed to answer two general knowledge questions on the Olympics and tuberculosis vaccinations and was eliminated from the game. The chilling footage from the 2019 show was disclosed by Marianne, a news magazine who later revealed Varov's true identity. His appearance on French national TV is seen as an indication that the serial killer, who was on a manhunt for 30 long years at that time, made no attempt to hide his identity. Over the years, investigators came to believe that the suspect of the crimes may have been part of the gendarme, English translation, police who are in charge of internal security, and had established a DNA profile on him. Victims who survived their encounter with Varov reported that he had shown his officer badge, identifying himself as a police officer. In 1986, police published a police sketch based on a witness statement that depicted a man of around 25 years old, six feet tall, with light brown hair, and visible traces of acne on his face. But cops were never able to catch the serial killer, despite him hiding in plain sight. Just another face in the crowd. Varov's sinister past only came to light after he killed himself in 2021. Following his death, a police probe linked him back to 31 rapes he committed in Paris in the 80s and 90s. Varov, then 59, left a suicide note in the flat where he took an overdose of medicine, telling his wife that he had carried a mad rage that made of me a criminal. The note read, and I quote, There were times when I couldn't stand it, and I had to destroy, sully, kill someone innocent. Vrove also mentioned the past impulses in the letter, and admitted murders without detailing the victims or circumstances. He wrote that he had stopped committing these crimes in 1997. A DNA sample taken from Varov confirmed him to be the killer that police had sought since Cecile Bloch was killed in Paris in 1986. This is the timeline of events, 1986. On April the 7th, Varov met an 8-year-old girl in a lift as she was travelling to school. He forcibly dragged the girl to a basement of her apartment building, raped her and attempted to strangle her with a cord. Presumably believing he had killed her, Varov fled the scene. 1986. On May 5th, Cecile Block, 11 years old, was also travelling to school when she met Varov in a lift. She was raped and murdered by Varov, who later dumped her body in a basement. 1987. On April 1987, Varov killed Gilei Politi, a 30-year-old aerial technician, and Ermgard Müller, a German au pair employed by Politi's family, in an apartment in Paris. Their bodies were discovered together in the apartment. Politi had been stripped naked and forced to lie face down with his arms and legs bound in a choke lace. Müller had been hung from her arms from the upright frame of a bunk bed, her throat slashed with a knife. Both victims had suffered physical torture via cigarette burns before death. 
1987, on October 27th, a 14-year-old girl returning home from school was stopped by Verhoeven, who identified himself as a police officer and claimed he needed to question her for an investigation. Verhoeven soon dragged his victim into an apartment before handcuffing and raping her. He left her alive after burgling the apartment. 1994, on June 29th, an 11-year-old girl identified as Ingrid was approached by Verhoeven, who abducted her. She was driven more than an hour away to an abandoned farm at Esson, where she was raped for several hours. Verreau fled the scene without killing Ingrid. Police believe he grabbed her as she came out of the building's lift on her way to school, and dragged her into the basement where he raped and killed her. Her parents died without knowing who killed their daughter, and family lawyer Didier Saban said, and I quote, It was painful to know that the criminal took his secrets with him. Verov is also the suspect in the murder of a 19-year-old Karine Leroy near Paris in 1994, and is thought to have strangled a couple to death in 1987. In 2021, an investigation into the murders was reopened, and some 750 gendarmes who had been deployed in the Paris region at the time of the crimes were called in for questioning. One of them was Verov, who was sent a summons on September the 24th for questioning on September the 29th, but he was then reported missing by his wife on September the 27th and found dead two days later in Grau da Roy, a seaside resort on the Mediterranean coast. On the day of his suicide, Verov cooked lunch, had a nap as usual in the afternoon, and engaged in everyday chatter before saying he was going out for a bicycle ride. He is said to have killed himself fearing his arrest, a coward's way out. Now if you found this breakdown of his crimes interesting, make sure to like and subscribe and leave any recommendations in the comments down below of cases you would like me to cover. And of course, rest in peace to all of the victims of this monster.